Hey guys, it's me, NoBS here. Uh, for the past week or so, I've been doing some Slayer on my higher level accounts to make some money, and I decided to use the new Slayer Master Kona Man because doing a Slayer task with her gives you a chance of getting this thing called a Brimstone Key, and this key basically allows you to open up a reward chest that can give you a whole bunch of supplies and resources that can be worth a lot of money. The only problem with doing a Slayer task with Konar, which most of you guys already know, is that with her, she assigns you a specific location for killing the monster. And from my experience, I would say two out of the three tasks I need to skip because they're at an awful location with a monster that is hard to kill. And if you're looking to farm brimstone keys like me, doing those tasks will essentially slow down the amount of keys you'll get per hour. So this kind of gave me the idea to share with you guys my own personal list of all the favorite Slayer tasks that I like to get from Konar. That way, if you are a person who's looking to make some money and getting brimstone keys like me, and you also have a lot of Slayer points sitting in the reserves to waste on skipping tasks, you may consider using this chart as a reference for making some decent cash very quickly. So on this chart here, and it will probably change over time since it seems like Jagex adds a new Slayer dungeon every six months or so, but these are currently all the tasks that I will complete in a heartbeat if I were to get them from Konar, either because the monsters are aggressive at the location, meaning you don't have to click on each individual monster to kill them, which I absolutely hate, uh, maybe because you can also use a cannon at the location, which makes doing the task super easy, or maybe because you can also use Ice Barrage there, which allows you to kill multiple monsters at a time. On the chart here, I've highlighted all of my favorite Slayer tasks in green, which are the super efficient tasks for getting Brimstone Keys. The ones highlighted in yellow, I would still do if I were assigned them by Konar, either because they still give really good money per hour for killing them, maybe they have a rare drop that they can give a lot of money, or possibly because the task is AFKable and efficient enough where it wouldn't be worth your Slayer points to skip the task. And like I said before, this is my own personal list. I am a very lazy Slayer trainer that likes to AFK all my tasks, so if you're like me, you'll probably find this chart very useful for deciding which Slayer task you want to do from Konar and which task you want to skip. And if this is your first time on my YouTube channel and hearing my uh, kind of interesting voice, I've been creating a catalog of Slayer guides for the past year or so on how to kill every Slayer monster in Old School RuneScape. And if you're interested in using this catalog for doing Slayer, I've also posted the full list of all the tutorials in the description box below. Anyways, now that I went over the chart, you may be interested in seeing what type of rewards you can get from Brimstone Keys. So right now I'm at the top of Mount Karolm right beside Konar, and I'll open up a total of 33 Brimstone Keys on two of my accounts, and we'll see at the end of the video what the average value of what you can expect from each Brimstone Key. Alright, so let's do this. So all you have to do is click the chest and that will use up one of the keys. So let's see what we get on our first key. We got 158 raw sharks. Wow, I really haven't opened up that many chests. Uh, 495 coal. We have two magic seeds. Dang, that's worth a lot of money. I have to check out what the values are later. Uh, ruin plate legs. Uh, we got 34 uncut diamonds. 393 iron ores. 362 iron ores. 124 magic log. That is pretty good. Uh, 15 rune ore. That's like 10,000 coins each, so that's pretty nice. Uncut diamonds. We got 27 uncut rubies. 128,000 coins just straight up. Uh, some gold ore. Uh, three magic seeds. That is really good. Running down to our last keys here. Four rune helms. And we also got another 120,000 coins. So let's go over to the other account and see what we get. And on the second count, let's see if we can get more lucky. So on this one, more gold ore. Uh, 427 coal. Uh, 403 steel bars. Dang, that's pretty good. 141,000 coins. More steel bars. That is crazy the amount of steel bars that I'm getting. Uh, more coins. So, I mean, 116,000 coins. Uh, three Torstal Seeds as well. 153 Dragon Dart Tips. I feel like I'm luckier on this account. Uh, dragon Arrow Tips. Three Rune Full Helms. 15 Rune Ores again. Uh, 351 Coal. Got 111 Raw Sharks. We also got 200 Dragon Arrow Tips. And down to our last two keys. Room plate bodies and 114 raw sharks. So that was actually very interesting even for me because I've never opened up that many keys at once but just seeing all the different types of resources they get, all the money and all the armor pieces, uh, I felt like it was highly rewarding and I'm also going to just pull up all the possible rewards that you could have gotten from opening up this chest. Uh, you could have gotten some different types of raw fish, uh, some different types of seeds like the dragon fruit tree seeds, those are worth a lot of money. 
uh, the mystic rope top pieces as well those are very nice as well but i was getting about one to two brimstone keys per slayer task and I just think that this is great for not only Iron Man who want to get some high level resources, but also for people who have a lot of Slayer points who don't mind to skip some Slayer tasks to get some more Brimstone Keys. But uh, just looking at the math here, if we go to the guide price and add everything in, uh, I've already transferred everything onto this account. So uh, we have a total of about 4 million coins worth and divide that by 33 keys. The average value is about give or take about 121,000 coins per brimstone key, but of course I could have gotten very lucky. It could be worth more or less depending on your luck. Anyways, that is just about it for this video. I will also probably do this for Laren's keys as well, which are the new keys that you can get from doing the Wilderness Slayer Master Crystallia. So look out for that video on my channel at a later date. But anyways, if you enjoyed this type of video, consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. But anyways, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later.